Good morning, guys. Coming out today. Uh, been up in Maine on the trap line the past couple of weeks. And uh, like it was a week before that, I uh, set one of my trail cameras up over here. In the, uh, I think I did a video of Buck Hotspot, something like that. All kinds of rubbing trees. So uh, that's been over here for a while. So I'm gonna go grab that now. Battery's probably dead by now. Well, we'll grab that. See if we have anything on there. Everything's really, really bare out here now. It's pretty good. So yeah, we'll uh, go grab this trail cam. I'll go uh, set up camp and we'll have a little talk. series uh, Woodsman Ways. I wanted to keep this going kind of following along with that opener on preparedness. So uh, the first one I talked about you know preparing yourself for uh, any disaster situation. That video was by request by quite a few people. I got emails and whatnot. Uh, they wanted me to talk about that. So continuing along with that mindset on being prepared uh, I've got like three packs out here with me today and uh, again it goes hand in hand with being prepared. So uh, one of the packs I got with me is uh, my scout pack. I've since gone from my Havasack scout kit to this. I still have the Havasack, that's not going anywhere. I absolutely love the thing. It's actually inside this pack right here. So. Uh, basically in the series I, I want to you know let you guys know kind of how I think how my brain works when it comes to stuff like this so uh, anytime I come out in the woods no matter what it's for I have some type of gear with me most of us do uh, if you've been doing this for a while or whatever but uh, we always have new people showing up you know joining in maybe they haven't seen past videos and stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna try to keep it, you know, basic, beginner type level. So I'm uh, sorry if I, I bore you more experienced folks, but uh, again, scout kit, exactly what it means. Uh, if I'm coming out here for the day, just scouting around, whether it be for deer, you know, out scouting on my trap line, whatever the case may be, uh, I've got a scout kit. Like I just said, in the recent past, it was my Havasack. I've just picked up this pack. It's a uh, main guide pack, I believe is what they call it. And then definitely not cheap, this little pack. It's almost like a knapsack type pack. Uh, it costs $200. But it is wax canvas. Uh, it's heavy duty. It's going to last me forever. You know, something I can pass on to my little guy. So uh, when I can afford stuff like this, I go ahead and buy it. You know, I still have some pack videos up on my channel, I think. Uh, but, you know, these things progress over time. As you're able to afford better gear and stuff like that, you upgrade. Um, so that, that's what I do when I can. Uh, I'm just about set for the most part with all my stuff. Um, so again, scout, my scout kit. <clears throat> it's a main guide pack. It's a bucket style pack, which if you guys have known me for more than five minutes, you know that's what I like. So it's got one bucket compartment it does have a little zipper pocket in here but it's very small I only keep a couple things in there and then it's got two outside pockets so uh, keeping with the preparedness theme like I'm saying you know anytime I come out in the woods I, I have something with me uh, if I plan on spending the night or multiple days obviously it's the woodsman pack uh, and that thing I could live out here forever and never go home with the stuff I got in there. So uh, just run you through this 
kit real quick uh, to give you some reasons, you know, why I carry the stuff I do and, you know, how I think about things. Uh, right off the bat, I got a couple journals. Uh, one is from when I did all my Pathfinder stuff, you know, the e-course and all that. I've got all my notes, uh, most of my deliverables in here. So it's good to reflect back on stuff like this, you know, wild edible plants and stuff like that. So I, I definitely keep that with me still. I've got one now. I wrote the Woodsman School on it. Uh, this is all my recent stuff, you know, things I got going on in the back. Got a bunch of videos and stuff, you know, to put out for you guys. So look back at that and know what I still have to do. I got like three pages of videos here written down now for you guys. But uh, anyways, a couple journals, key. Uh, got a heavy pair of leather work gloves. <clears throat> Might as well go to what I carry on my person. It makes sense. So 98% of the time you guys know my woodsman trap a knife with a ferro rod attached. Uh, that's 98% of the time. On my other hip I got this pretty nice leather pouch I got from my buddy Joe in New York. I think I showed that in another video. Uh, the only thing in that is a small flint and steel kit. So I've got my knife and my fire covered, you know, all the time. It's always on me. I have a lighter in my pocket because I smoke, of course. But uh, again, in the pack, the backup knife. This is uh, the If All Else Fails knife. You guys have seen the strap to my hip running my trap line. I pretty much wore this knife on my hip my whole trip up there. Uh, you know, aside from my custom knife, you know, little bias here, but hey, it is what it is. I designed my knife for me, so of course I like it. It's exactly what I want. But uh, aside of that, this is probably my favorite knife. Uh, awesome work on the leather. Just incredible work Joe does. So uh, that's my backup knife in, in this kit anyways. I got my meal kit. It's my small clean canteen bottle I've had for four or five years now things beat to crap uh, titanium cup to go with that and my titanium sport so that makes my meal kit <clears throat> ABS steaks four bungees and my trail top, so that makes up my shelter system for my scout kit anyways. Uh, I like the bungees, it's just so much quicker to set stuff up. Actually my last drill, we slept out in the field and uh, our platoon sergeant had a little contest, you know, who could set up the best hooch, the fastest and all this crap. So uh, I had a buddy that kind of knows what I'm into. He asked to team up with me uh, we had a shelter up in two minutes and uh, ready to go to bed <laughs> while everyone else is fumbling through the woods. So uh, that's a pretty quick little system. Uh, I know a lot of you probably use it too, but again, just showing you what, what I got. Uh, my scout kit, quick, fast, in a hurry. I can have this shelter set up in a couple minutes, uh, get me out of the weather or whatever. Baco saw. small first aid kit 55 gallon drum liner my bannock board and a little zipper compartment on the inside of this pack uh, bandana with my compass in it it's just a uh, silver ranger compass my headlamp and my Havasack that I'll never get rid of. <laughs> Absolutely love this thing. I'll carry it as long as I can until it falls apart. And if it falls apart, I'll probably fix it and keep carrying it. Uh, thing's pretty nice. I like it. So, uh, moving out to the front pockets. One of them has some cordage. 100 feet of paracord. Some bank line. 
orange electric tape if I'm setting out snares and stuff with the bank line. I also have my uh, Woodsman Mountain Man kit in that pocket. It's got 10 30 inch metal snares, uh, two hanks of bank line, one's 20 feet, one's 10 feet, and obviously the, the flint and steel in there with some char cloth and jute twine. So uh, it's like a fire trapping fishing kit kind of all in one. All right. Obviously the bank line can be used for trapping, fishing, stuff like that. Uh, the only other thing in that pocket, just got a pretty cool little pocket inside that pocket. It's got my Leatherman in it. So that's that pocket. The other one, it's pretty much a, uh, a fire pocket. Like I showed you, I already have a ferro rod on my hip with my knife. I got a small flint and steel kit in my leather pouch. So I got some extra cotton material and inside that I have wrapped up uh, some cattail fluff that I can char or just use as is to get a fire going. I've got two char tins. One's got punk wood in it. The other's got charred cattail fluff. And then I have a strike force. So plenty of ways to make fire. You know, I like I like making primitive fire. Bow drills are cool. You know, it's definitely something you want to practice. And just about every, or at least every other time I come out, I'm practicing with the bow drill too. Uh, one, it's fun, and it's a skill that you want to own in case you don't have anything. But as you can tell, if I'm carrying a kit and I'm going to be prepared, I have ways to make fire. So I, I would never carry you know, a bow drill set or a hand drill set in my kit per se. But uh, when I do that, like I said, it's cool to do that. And when I come out, I practice, but I like to practice, uh, I don't know what it's on the fly or whatever. I like to come out, make a brand new set from scratch because uh, for the most part, that's gonna be the reality of it. Uh, if you're carrying, like I know my buddy Mitch does that, and there's definitely not a knock on any of you guys that do it. A lot of you guys are more into the primitive side of things, and that's great. Like I said, I practice it too, but uh, I wouldn't carry a, a primitive set in my pack because for the size of the bow, or even if you didn't carry that and that's all you made out in the field, you still got your handhold, you got your hot board, you got your spindle. That's like... I don't know, 10 ferro rods, 15 lighters, or, you know, just to relate it, something like that anyway, so I prefer the, the sure means. I do carry flint and steel kits because, again, that's fun to me, but the flint and steel ain't going nowhere, and it's definitely going to make fire. If I break my flint, lose my flint, or it becomes unusable, I can find quartz. Uh, that's basically what we have up here in the northeast. Uh, not really the flint, but uh, quartz will do the same thing with my steel, so it's just another sure way of, of making fire, I guess. So that's kind of the way I do things. Uh, everybody's different, though, like I said, and I'm, I'm not knocking anybody for that. <clears throat> so uh, this is my skull kit. Like I said, I wanted to uh, keep going with this Woodsman Way series. Uh, started out with you know being prepared for certain things uh, so I'm gonna continue on you know with that in the next couple of videos I figured I'd share my scout kit with you guys uh, because that's what keeps me prepared when I'm out in the woods kicking around for the day or scouting around or whatever the case may be so uh, thank you guys for watching for this quick one uh, my scout kit and uh, We'll continue on with uh, being prepared in the next couple videos, and then we'll start moving on to some other things. And I again, share with you guys kind of the way I think about things and the reasons I do some of the stuff that I do when I come out. So, appreciate you watching. Uh, we'll be back with another video as soon as I can.